Hello. Okay. Uh, coding log, um, June 24th. Uh, this is just about recognition, uh, which I started, I think, last Thursday. And um, this is the first time I actually have a build to send to you. It's being uploaded now. Uh, so let's let's give some of this a try. Uh, before we do, uh, just so you know, I'm trying to look into this camera so that I have some connect with you guys as the team in terms of sharing this stuff. And over here, this is the camera I'm using for um, object detection. I want to use all of them, but I'm just using this right now. And the camera that's up in that corner, well, this is harder to point to, I'll use the cursor. Over here is just looking at the tools uh, in real time. That is what I should be using for detection, but I've still got to move them a little to learn the tool for the first time. And then I move on to detecting it in the basket. But let's just focus on one task. This build is, can you take an object, uh, teach it what it is, teach the machine what isn't, and then check on the detection confidence. So let's grab ourselves a tool. Wow, sound kind of cheesy. Um, okay, so I grabbed uh, this one because this has been sort of my uh, uh, go-to because it looks similar to this guy, a little bit different shape, but they both got the logo and they both got some uh, end attributes and um, some things that are similar. So we're gonna learn this, let me learn this guy. Um, so I'm going to click up here. Oh, and uh, all this stuff moving, it's just my indication that the values are flowing through without uh, denormalizing. So the detection is like a big illuminate graph. And each of these guys up here are just tied to, uh, think of it like frame rate for a certain part of the recipe. Um, if you see any of them stalling, uh, I've got a problem. Um, it'll be in the log, but uh, that's why they're up there. I know it's visually noisy and it's ugly as hell. It'll be gone. Um, and this was supposed to be the, uh, this one means nothing, total fluff. It's supposed to be connected to building the learning graph, but I haven't finished that yet. I got a couple of bridges in Maven that uh, are just broken. So anyway, um, let's, uh, I'm gonna click up here to scan this guy and it will, um, so it'll start scanning it. Uh, you know, I rotate a little bit, give it a little sense of what we're looking at, the you know, front end, um, back end, let's get that logo in there, you know, the basic shape. I think this is probably the orientation it's mostly in, in the thing, diagonals. Um, so I'm not grabbing a ton of frames. That makes all the difference in the world, but this is just a great first pass. So, so we did the object. Now we got to show it what is not the object. So the only way this works is that thing cannot be on the screen. Um, we should show it the tray or whatever's behind it, this normal stuff. We'll show it my hands, which I was just using before. Um, and perhaps things that are not it that are similar like this guy which does have that logo, so I wanna make sure that he doesn't show up or that end. Um, so 180 frames of that guy. And I think we are now uh, complete with the um, confidence guy. So uh, it's showing, doesn't, doesn't see it. Let's see if it recognizes it now. Uh, it's about 100%. Um, you know, not quite, but uh, let's turn it a little, rotate it around. Um, it's a little bit harder to, you know, indicate, get the cursor out of the way. Um, so I take it away, doesn't see it, comes back, gets it. By the way, the, um, the first number is the actual confidence, and then the second number is sort of an uh, aggregate of several other pieces over time. Um, so uh, let's see how it does on, uh, on this guy, similar logo. Expect to get some hits there. Uh, the front end, maybe a little recognition there because it should be somewhat same. Yeah, yeah, see we're getting some good numbers because that should look similar to the other guy, but it's certainly not it. Let's just make sure, not a gimmick. Um, right back to that. Now, uh, so try it out at home, try it with everything. Try it in low lighting, high lighting, try faces, try uh, objects. Um, for any of you that uh, have uh, war game figures, which is a polite way of saying um, toys for grown-ups, you know, like the little figurines a lot of artists, programmers have on their desks or people uh, sitting around. Try those out. I mean, I've gotten almost 100% just using 100 frames. You know, just little figurine guys, uh, objects, wedding ring. I mean, it will do, uh, you know, a little detail pretty, pretty good. Um, so lots to improve. This is probably the uh, one one hundredth of what it should be. 
So, um, uh, just bringing it back. It's learning one object at a time. We'll add multiple objects and we'll segment out in the tray after. But uh, let's just see if this can work first. Uh, long video. Um, I hope this doesn't take too long to upload. But um, build should be fine. Let me know if it's not. It's running on laptop in this. I tested that. Tested packaging. Uh, let me know. I'm going to work on refining this uh, interface using Maven. Just get some of this a little cleaner, a little locked up, um, and then I'll add some improvements to the recipe. I only got 10 layers in now. 28 looks like what we want. 28 ingredients in our um, uh, recipe. All right. Thanks a lot, folks.